Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBan and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to implement the Django debug toolbar in your project. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so what I have done here is just to demonstrate how the whole process works I have created a fresh new Django project with the basic URL set here as you can see a slash users Which will go to views dot users this one which will just fetch all the user objects there and render this user dot users dot HTML page Which is nothing but a basic one which will loop through that users and just put an uh, an ordered list there so uh, this is I have done just for the demonstration now you don't have to actually create a new project for this one you can just uh, take any of your previous projects and just go uh, with what I'm gonna be doing now and that would be that would totally work fine don't actually create a new project for that just implement it in a previous project and so uh, we'll start off with the documentation uh, this is the official documentation of Django debug toolbar I'll put the link in the description section so that you can follow along now the first step is to install that one so I'll just copy and paste this one pip install Django debug toolbar there now it'll actually install that debug toolbar for me so I'll take a little bit of time there and I think it's done so the next step is actually to get get uh, this prerequisites done so the first thing is add the debug toolbar to install app section so I'll just copy this one and in the uh, settings.py I'll just paste that in the installed app section so up at the bottom I'll just paste that in there with that tab there so that's done now the next thing is static URL which is already set this one it is already set by default now the next one is adding the URL path so uh, as you can see this one here we'll just implement that now in the urls.py here now uh, uh, we'll just first check the condition which means if settings dot debug which means if we are in the development environment only we should only uh, do this debug toolbar in the development environment only we don't want to show the debugging information at the protection level to the public we don't want that we just uh, do that in the debug if debug is equal to true which means if our application is in the development mode so we just import that settings up at the Top, Django.conf dot settings. Now in here, if settings dot debug, then we'll just uh, say URL patterns plus equal to, which means uh, this URL patterns plus uh, whatever the path we want to add. So the path here is this one. We'll just copy that path there. We'll just paste that in, and uh, we'll just uh, get this include there Django dot URL dot include, and also. If we look into this, we, we can see that Django toolbar the Im, uh, importer at the top. So that will do the trick. So what this test is, if settings start debug, which means if we are in the development mode, then we'll just import debug toolbar and we'll just add this path, this path here, to this one, which means this path plus this path. So that will do the trick. Now with this being said, the next one is enabling the middleware. I'll just copy and paste that and in the settings.py you can see the middleware section there now we'll just paste that maybe at the bottom uh, actually we can paste it at the top and all that's up to you now there is a warning here just uh, make sure that you if you have gzip middleware there then put this uh, middleware underneath that gzip middleware now the uh, that's it i believe uh, for setting up the things there now if i do run the server there so run server you can see that if I look into that mm, you can see that if I go to slash users then yeah we can see the users list this was a uh, this was the one I was created now we can we cannot actually see the uh, debug toolbar there now that's because I believe yeah this one configuring internal IPs so we'll just add this uh, setting uh, to settings.py so I'll add at the bottom I'll add this one I'll get rid of this hashes there now with this being said if I refresh the page 
um, you can see that something has been here in the at the right side now this is the Django debug toolbar now you can see a pretty lot of information here such as the Django version here now the time taken to load this page the settings what all settings and the headers the request and response headers the cookies sessions now the most important thing is the SQL here which is nothing but the queries that, that is being executed at the background so you can see that uh, we got that uh, select auth user dot id password and all which means we have put this um, in the views dot py we are fetching whole the whole user so that's why we can see that query being run behind so uh, you can see also the time it takes to actually uh, load that thing and pretty pretty much other things like static files templates a lot of other steps and uh, this will uh, th this is all about the Django debug toolbar now I hope you understood uh, the uh, the concept and uh, um, I hope uh, everything is clear for you now if you have any doubts or any kind of errors while doing this stuff please let me know in the comment section otherwise if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one